Hello and welcome back everyone. This is your quest master Shreyansh on the quest introduction to Rust. In this sub quest, we'll be looking at variables and a little bit on immutability. Immutability is what makes Rust different from the whole host of other languages. Let's discuss variables. Variables are essentially boxes which hold some value, which can be reused multiple times during the course of the function or the program, depending on how you use them. The simplest way to declare a variable is to use the let keyword followed by the name and an optional value. We'll use the println macro to print this out using the formatting directive, which is in the form of a curly brace. We'll then move over to our terminal and try running this. And as you can see, it prints out the value of four is four. So let's recap. You declare a variable by using the let keyword where the name of the variable is the one on the left. You follow that with the initial value of that variable. You can, of course, also have variables where you do not define an initial value, but those are very seldomly used within the Rust world. So variables in Rust are actually very, very special in that they're not really variables. You cannot change their values by default. Let's see this with an example. We'll declare a very simple function where we'll assign a variable X to the value hello world, and we'll print that out. And following that, we'll reassign it to something like hello quest book. If we were to print this out, you'll notice that this will print out the reassigned value in this case, hello quest book, which is the standard understanding or other intuition of how variables should work. However, if I had to do something very, very similar in Rust, if I were to reassign the value to five, you will see that this gives an error. It says that the variable cannot be assigned twice. If you were to run this code, you'll notice the whole host of warnings and errors generated. I want to talk about the Rust compiler here in that it tells you everything which you need to know in order to fix the error. In this specific case, it's telling us that there is an unused assignment and it is overwritten without being read. In the second one, which is our error, it also tells us how to fix the error by making this binding mutable. If you were to copy and paste the command given by the Rust compiler, you will see not only what the error is, but also an explanation on how to fix it, followed by examples of the wrong code and the right code. So in this case, it's asking us to add a specific keyword called mute. Let's try that out. So let's make this variable mutable by adding the mute keyword after the let. I'll also copy and paste the print line macro just after the reassignment with a couple of changes. Let's rename the variable to X and let's also add the word reassigned. Now, if you were to try running this, you'll see that the value of four is four and the reassigned value of X is five, which means that we have fixed our error. Now let's recap here. All variables by default are immutable in Rust, which means you cannot change their value. In order for you to change their value later down in your program or in your function, you need to mark the variable as mutable by adding the mute keyword in the declaration.